All right, we're going to pick up where we left off. We've got our open map displayed, and it's interactive. We can move it around, zoom in and out, do whatever we want to do. And we've got the same code from the last video. What we're going to do next is actually add something called a marker. So let's go into our build function here. We're going to say markers. And we're just going to make a list here. So we're going to say hope if I could type marker, there we go. So we're going to say new marker. We want the width to be, let's say 80.0 height to be 80.0 and let's add a point. This is the point of origin or where we want the actual pin cushion to go. We're going to add a lat long, which takes double. We're going to say 41.8781. In case you're wondering, no, I don't have latitudes and longitudes memorized. I just have notes off to the side here. Although that would be really impressive if I actually had all this memorized. So we're going to say 62.98. And now we want a builder. The builder is going to allow us to, well, you guessed it, build the actual icon. So it's going to take a context, push that over, and we're going to say new icon. And let's say icons.pin. Let's do pin drop, why not? And then we want a color. Let's say colors.red. All right, let's put a comma in here and let's just grab this and let's make a few of these. And we're gonna change the Latin long of each one and I'm just gonna copy and paste this rather than bore you guys with my typing skills. And let's grab this one too. So very simple, we have just got a markers and you can see the icon it's going to use and the color. Now we need to add a new layer option here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go behind this tile layer option. And we're going to say marker layer options. And we're just going to reuse that list that we used. Now let's actually just reload the whole app. And you can see there's one of our pins in dead center Chicago. Let's see if I can zoom out here. I'm not very good at that. There we go. So there's one in Chicago, one in, I think I put it in Lansing, Michigan, and one in Detroit. Yep, Lansing, Detroit. Pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Um, my zooming skills with this are not the best, but you can see how it's interactive and see how you can get right down into this thing. See if we can zoom all the way in here. It's thinking. It's gonna take a while to pull that tile down. It will eventually do it, unless we broke the app. Hmm. Oh, there we go. It was still caching. As you can see, there's some pros and cons to this. Sometimes it doesn't work exactly the way you expect it. Like we got it to lock up a little bit on us. Let's see if we can do it again. And this is where running on a real phone versus an emulator. This is where you'd really want to test. See right here, we've kind of frozen it up again. We've got no error messages or anything of that nature down here. So not really sure what's going on. but we can pull it back out and see that it's currently working. It's kind of interesting to play with and you can kind of tell when you're gonna break it and when you're not, like we just zoomed in too much. There we go. So that is where that actual pin is next to the Intelligentsia Coffee and the Union League Club. I have no idea what either one of those are and right next to a federal building. 